In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, Grant, we pray, that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may, by your guidance, attain the fullness of your glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derby and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On the account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the apostles for observance the decision reached the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through the Phrygian and Galatian territory because they have been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried to go on into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Mysia and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with his words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. 
Come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is God, is good. His kindness endures forever. His kindness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please stand. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang ating Panginoon ay laging nagsasabi ng totoo. Siya ay tapat. Sa mulat mula pa lang, inilahad na niya. Sinabi niya ng katotohanan. Sabi niya, hindi madali ang pagsunod sa akin. Mahirap ang sumunod sa akin kasi kung anong ginawa sa akin, gagawin din sa inyo. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Kung pinahirapan ako, pahirapan din kayo. Kung inusig ako, usigin din kayo. Pag binintang, nang binintangan ako, bibi, pagbibintangan din kayo. Pinapasan ako ng krus, may krus din ipapapasan sa inyo. At maaring ipinako ako sa krus, ipapako din kayo sa krus. Kaya sa mulat mula pa, nilahad na ng Panginoon. Eto, yung mangyari sa inyo pag susunod kayo sa akin. Ba't ito ginawa, ginawa ng Panginoon? Para makapaggawa tayo ng desisyon. Susunod ba tayo? O tatalikod sa Panginoon? Ipagpatuloy ba natin? O aatras tayo? Yan ang Panginoon. Kasi, Siya ay makatotohanan. Walang tinatago, walang nililihim sa atin. Gusto niyo kasi na tayo makagawa ng ating sariling desisyon. Hindi na tayo pinipilit. Kay nilalahad niyang lahat sa atin. Gusto niya na yung makapagpasya tayo ng malaya. Kaya siya ay nagsasabi ng totoo. Pag nagmamahal ka daw, magsasabi ka ng totoo. Hindi ka magsisinungaling. Hindi ka manlilin lang. Hindi ka mambobola. Hindi ka paasa ng mga bagay na wala kang balak din. Hindi ka gagamit ng mga mabulaklak na mga salita. Para lamang lukuhin mo ang mga taong gusto mong sumunod sa iyo, mapalapit sa iyo. 
Ayan ang Panginoon. Walang tinatago, walang nililihim sa atin. Lantaran, diretsahan. Kaya, hindi natin masisisi ang Panginoon. Hindi natin maring sabihin na, Panginoon, akala ko pag susunod ako sa iyo, maging ayos ang lahat, maging okay ang lahat. Walang problema, walang gulo, maging masaya ang buhay ko. Pero bakit ganito? Nang sumunod ako sa iyo, nagpakabait ako, lalo akong inuusig. Nung gumagawa ako ng mabuti, hinahanapan ako ng masama. Ako'y tumutulong, ako pang ginagawa ng kwento at sinisirhaan. Eh, yun talaga ang mangyayari sa atin kapag ka tayo naging tapat sa Panginoon. Pero, ang kainaman yan, may abiso na tayo sa Panginoon. Eh. Sa, sa mulat mula pa sinabi na saan, eto ang mangyayari sa inyo, oh. We have been forewarned. May babala na sa atin ng Panginoon. At ang Panginoon hindi paasa. Our Lord is not giving us any false hopes. Our Lord did not promise us a rose garden. He only promised us the cross. If you want to follow me, take up your cross. Kaya ang pagsunod sa Panginoon ay para lamang sa mga matatapang. Matitibay ang loob. Hindi nawalan ng pag-asa. Hindi sumusuko. Ang pagsunod sa Panginoon ay hindi para sa mga duwag, mga umaatras, mga walang prinsipyo. Following the Lord is only for the strong the brave and the courageous. Kahilingin natin sa ating Panginoon, sa ating mahal na ina. Panginoon, mahal na ina, tulungan niyo po kami. Turuan niyo po kami. Bigyan niyo po kami ng sapat na tapang. Sapat na tibay at lakas ng loob. Upang kahit anong mangyari, kahit anong mangyari, susunod at susunod pa rin kami sa iyo. Sitayo po tayo. We joyously praise the Lord who raised His Son from death and so assured us of eternal life. Let us ask the, help, the Lord's help in times of trial and difficulties. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors, especially the Pope and our bishops, may continue to nourish us with sound teachings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may feel His sustaining power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may find joy in our faith even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, may be comforted by the contemplating on the eternal life that Jesus offers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of this Mass, and in the silence of our hearts, we present to the Lord our own personal intentions. God, our Father, you have chosen us to share your kingdom. Grant us strength to bear our sufferings and hardships in the knowledge that we'll be raised to Jesus' saving power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
प्लीज स्टैंड pray my dear friends that our sacrifice may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church accept in compassion lord we pray the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal to christ Our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed. A universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, "Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest." Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you." In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this." In memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop. Fidelis is auxiliary bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles. And all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever.
Amen. Please stand. Now in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We will now pray the Horatio Imperata for vocations in the Archdiocese of Lingayan Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingayan Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in the journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and, in, and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our sickness. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulars, crucifix, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.